Now buffers, uh, as you may remember, uh, buffers are uh, agents or chemicals which minimize uh, change in pH uh, when in a solution you add acid or base. So these are agents, they don't, they don't prevent anything. They basically minimize the damage uh, if, you, if you put in, a, in a, uh, an acid or a base to any solution, be it ECF. So you, you, can, you can now visualize that cells continuously make um, acids uh, and all sorts of base. Uh, and then in, in, when you eat, you have all sorts of acids and base that you end up eating. Uh, so all of this has uh, 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 potential to change the pH of the ECF, uh, which is not recommended and is uh, fought against at all costs. And, and uh, one of the mainstays of that fight is basically uh, to uh, buffer it chemically with a buffer uh, where weak acids and it's either its conjugate base is used or a weak base and its conjugate acid is used. So actual examples of buffer systems in the body are divided basically into three, as I, see, I, I, can, I can put it here, extracellular fluid, intracellular fluid, and bone. In, in this, basically, you cannot afford to forget uh, this stuff here, right here, and of course this here, okay? Uh, bone is covered in endocrinology, uh, but this is the important stuff. So extracellular fluid, the most abundant uh, buffer system is this bicarbonate carbon dioxide buffer system and you can see that the carbonic acid uh, uh, sorry carb carb uh, carbon dioxide when it uh, reacts with water it forms irreversibly it forms carbonic acid which then dissociates into hydrogen and bicarbonate so in reverse when you produce hydrogen ions if you have bicarbonate ions uh, handy you immediately titrate them or combine them with bike with with your newly formed hydrogen ion and form carbonic acid, which is a weak acid, mind you, and which easily gets uh, dissociated into carbon dioxide and uh, water. Carbonic anhydrase is, is the enzyme which does the needful. And there you have it. Your hydrogen is now packed inside water and, 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 and uh, can be of no uh, consequence to pH, okay? So this is, this, is, uh, this is one, this is the most abundant present uh, buffer system in uh, the body ECF. Uh, uh, the, the other one is inorganic phosphate. And here you can see that if you have your hydrogen, which is being produced, you can buffer it uh, with uh, uh, hydrogen phosphate uh, uh, anion. And basically this will form uh, H2PO4, which is weak and can, be, and can be dealt with by the body appropriately. Then you have plasma proteins, which have buffering action. They combine hydrogen ion. And uh, uh, what you are seeing basically is the body does not tolerate hydrogen ions uh, in the free form and has to be, they, these have to be packaged uh, here with bicarbonate, here with HPO4 and here directly with plasma proteins. Okay. And then uh, intracellular uh, uh, fluid, as cell, cell proteins, you have been studying this since uh, your start of the MBBS, that the cells in <clears throat> themselves have lots of protein molecules inside them. And one of the functions of them is basically uh, to act as a buffer. Uh, RBCs are equipped with hemoglobin, which uh, along with oxygen carriage also has a buffering action. Here you see hydrogen being uh, buffered by hemoglobin. Then you have uh, uh, organic, pho in, uh, organic phosphates. Uh, again, uh, basically hydrogen is being buffered here. Then you have the same car uh, carbon dioxide bicarbonate system, which is present also in the intracellular fluids. Uh, and bones, you have again, uh, phosphates and carbonate, uh, carbonates doing the job. So in, in kidney, basically, you'll be dealing with this buffer system, the bicarbonate carbon dioxide buffer system, uh, the inorganic phosphate buffer system uh, mainly and there is an ammonia ammonium buffer system which is not shown here uh, and it's most prolific inside the kidney we'll, we'll be talking about that uh, in a while okay so uh, this is the lines of defense concept i like this line of defense concept it's similar to what you studied uh, in blood physiology lines of defenses against uh, any pathogen entering the body, you know, the lines of defenses of inflammation. So similarly, we have lines of defense against uh, any change in pH and it's, it's nicely made here. 
slightly depicted food intake digestion absorption basically cell metabolism uh, inside the cell uh, having all these uh, reactions going on produces three things one is these fixed uh, uh, fixed ions your sulfates and your chlorides which are strong and will give rise to a strong acid uh, uh, they basically are produced inside the cell you have carbonic carbon dioxide which is being produced inside the cell and you have free hydrogen that is being produced inside the cell we'll start from the free hydrogen because this has, has the potential to really drastically affect ph um, drastically so as soon as they are made uh, hydrogen ions are basically uh, combined with intracellular proteins if uh, some of them uh, leave the cell uh, there are uh, there is chemi chemical buffering uh, outside available the car uh, carbon dioxide uh, uh, the carbonic acid buffer system basically uh, which is abundant in the ECF, as, as I mentioned, basically titrates hydrogen, um, and and in in the in the in the S in this process basically consumes the bicarbonate. And this is an important point here, which I want you to log away uh, as an important point uh, that every time you excrete a hydrogen out of the cell into the ECF, a bicarbonate ion is is there, uh, which combines uh, with the hydrogen and starts that carbonic acid and then the whole carbon dioxide water uh, reaction. But what I want your attention on is this bicarbonate ion, which is consumed by every hydrogen ion that is secreted. So this needs to be replenished. Please remember this bicarbonate ion, which is available in the ECF, gets used up uh, in daily, on, on a daily basis by production of free hydrogen. And that this, this bicarbonate, this needs to be replenish this is a very important point the carbon dioxide that is produced is it's not a huge problem in the sense that it's not fixed and it doesn't consume much uh, in in the sense which needs to be replenished afterwards carbon dioxide basically is exhalable and you exhale it through the uh, respiratory system okay so the first line of defense is chemical buffering which we discussed intracellular and extracellular the second is respiratory where carbon dioxide you exhale the third is uh, of these ions, uh, which will, which may form, uh, if not, if not sorted out, may form uh, proper uh, hard fixed acids, and they basically are um, sorted out by the kidney uh, in various forms uh, uh, and excreted uh, away from the of body in, in 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 the urine. So. The, the first two, if you, if you want to create a timeline, is rapid acting, uh, while the renal is delayed onset, as usual, but it brings the most notorious uh, uh, ions uh, to their fate. So it does come in late, but it does the, the most difficult job, as is the case with other processes like blood pressure and ECF volume and so on. Okay. <laughs>